of testing when you water it with tears, with blood, with laughter, and with so much prayers, it will not destroy you. It will refine you. And that's what happened to me. Before I was grad, before I was rolled in the surgery room, it was August 18th, and all the anesthesiologists, all the medical team was in my room to prepare me for the surgery. I asked my husband, my husband Edward, to read God's words to me. Because those are the life-giving words. And he asked, I asked him to read to me Daniel 3. When the three Jewish friends were delivered from the fire, and the, the, the Lord rescued his servants who trusted in him, and they were unharmed, and they were unaffected, and there was no smoke of fire in them. And I asked Edward again, please read me, John 11, 43 to 44. It was a long verse, it was a long chapter, but I asked him, could you go skip to the part where Jesus calls Lazarus out? And Jesus called Lazarus, Lazarus come out. The dead man came out, bound hand and foot with linen strips, and his face wrapped in a cloth. And Jesus said to him, unwrap him, and let him go. I know all the things that were in my body. I know God will unwrap me and will let me go. And those words became flesh to me, healing to my body, even before they opened me up for surgery. And I had a, a successful surgery until it wasn't successful. All the doctors, my surgeon, could not explain why am I bleeding so much. In my surgeon's career, she said I was the bloodiest the bloodiest patient. And so I lost all, a lot of blood. And what was supposed to be a few hours and two more hours in the observation and three more days in the hospital because they could not stabilize my hemoglobin. It was 12 and then it went down to five. And then my BP is 65 and 40. It's just, I don't know about many doctors, but I know it was bad because they were all like confused in the room, a lot of doctors in the room and they were quiet. I don't know, there's just a spirit of confusion in your room. But he's in me, it's greater than he who is in the world. That was my reading in the morning. I repeated it, Lord, you are my portion, my cup of blessing. You hold my future in your hands. I let you, Lord, guide my life because you are beside me. I will not be shaken. My heart is glad and my whole being rejoices. My body also rests in your me. I repeat over and over. I don't know if they understood me because the doctor said, like, what are you saying? I gave life to my body because I sensed that I was slowly slipping to death and I don't want it. I could not even open my eyes when I'm calling out to God. I, I told him, Lord, you promise this, this will not end in death. but will give glory to your name. So I just keep repeating truth over what the doctors are. I'm even unsure what's going on. But surely, will not allow his faithful one to see the day. And so after the two weeks of waiting, that's the hard part, with the tissue out of me and you're waiting for the pathology. And for stage one, my doctor said, sure, I know that was my God. I know that he healed me. And so they told me that they took all the guys out. Yes. And this is the day we walk through the blood of the Lamb, through the power 